If you don't want to be on the internet for being a Karen, well then, don't be a Karen in public. She was dubbed Poolside Karen after being caught on camera hurling insults at a family enjoying themselves at an apartment complex pool. You have a Mexican party in the pool. <laughs> Trash. Now bl Wow, you're having a Mexican party at the pool and then calls them trash? She's definitely a racist Karen and she should be embarrassed. Blair Featherman is speaking out for the first time in this Inside Edition exclusive. You've heard of these Karens, yes? Yes, of course. So we've, we've had a lemonade Karen, a Central Park Karen, yes. a barbecue Karen. Okay. Did you ever think in your wildest dreams that you, Blair Featherman, would be dubbed poolside Karen? No. Never. Featherman says the drama started when she saw some people she hadn't seen before. We noticed a party gathering on the other side of the pool and it was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And the interior we decoration. Just because she doesn't know these people doesn't give her the right to verbally assault them or harass them. Uh, people move in and out of apartment complexes all the time. Raider says she was concerned because there had been previous problems at her Lakewood, Colorado complex with pool hoppers. People try and wait for the gate to open and come in so that they'll just stay all day. So Featherman... So what, does she ask everybody that she doesn't know, like if they live there or something? Because that is crazy. In her bikini and her male friend, asked to see their key fob. Had you yelled at them at this point? Had you shouted anything no. at them? Featherman says she walked back to her lounge chair on the other side of the pool. That's when she claims some partygoers rushed over and attacked her. They swarmed over like a swarm of bees. It was very fast. Well, I got pushed first by a man and then the woman jumped on me. Here's what you haven't seen. Featherman shared this video exclusively with Inside Edition that she says proves she was assaulted. So that's when I fell back. You could see my feet fly in the air. That's assault! That's assault! Yeah, that's definitely assault and probably shouldn't do it, but don't also be a racist. You guys don't belong here! You don't belong! Featherman claims her cell phone was stolen during the assault. I was literally curled up in the ball just like this, trying to do as much as I could to get them from getting in close to me. I poked some eyes and I think I pulled a girl's hair, but that was in defense because I had four women on top of me. She says she found these fake fingernails in her hair. Oh, they ripped off in my head when they were attacking me. Oh, back down to Deborah. Low class slime. Featherman's friend, Deborah on code. Wow, low class slime. So uh, sh because she assumes these people are poor, they're low class slime. They called 911. I'm running around looking for my phone. 911's being called. And then I see this girl recording me. You can't just record me. And I got really upset and I grabbed it, but then I gave it back. Y yeah, sh you can be recorded. So that. She, you can't go around assaulting people just because you're being recorded. She was recording people. Back literally like, I don't know, did, less did, than a minute later. At least eight cops responded. And they came over and bum rushed us like a bunch of freaking hellions. Police questioned everyone there, including Blair Featherman. And I'm not using racist at all, but you. I'll tell you what, when they come in, and they come in for their party, they're trashy. They're I'm not usually a racist, but so she's showing that she is racist quite often because people say I'm not racist, but are some of the biggest racists you will find. They're nasty and they don't belong here. I pay for this. Are you a racist? I am not a racist at all. Yeah, that's a big old lie. I saw the video. It's completely embarrassing. I don't want to act like that or be like that. Don't then don't be racist if you don't want to be caught on camera being racist. No arrests were made. We also spoke with one of the family members who was a part of that dispute, and they claimed that Featherman was the instigator and that they had every right to be at the pool.